Hey guys, Dan Carr here. Today we're going to be taking a look at Canon's new 40mm f2.8 STM lens. Now this here is their new pancake lens which should be shipping to dealers this week and uh, I was able to find one uh, over here in the UK where I am on a, on a short trip at the moment. So um, as you can see uh, it's tiny. I mean this is easily the smallest lens that uh, Canon has ever made. And so we're just going to do a little quick run through about uh, my initial impressions of the lens, a few things I've noticed, and then there'll be a follow-up uh, review on my website. So um, let me just first remove the lens cap on this so you can get an impression for the size of the lens itself. Um, I mean, it's uh, I, I'd say from, from the front to the back of the mount, it's, it's about an inch in depth. Um, it has a 52 millimeter ring on the front, so 52 millimeter filters is what you're going to need for this one. There is an optional lens hood, um, but as far as I know, there's no way to store the lens hood reversed onto it because the lens is too small. It's not something I'm probably going to bother using with this. Um, initial impressions when you pick it up. I mean, this is um, this lens is about two hundred dollars to purchase, um, and if you're comparing it to something like the 50mm f1.8, which is um, about $100, I mean, this is this is a huge improvement. This is uh, in a different league in terms of build quality for something like that. So that's nice to see. It's actually quite a solid lens. Um, we have a focus ring on here that's slightly rubberized texture to it. And uh, when you turn the ring, it doesn't feel like any other focus ring that Canon's ever had. It's it's very, very smooth, but with very little resistance to it. Um, but there's no, you know, there's no uh, play in the, the ring at all. It feels solid. Um, but what you'll notice is it doesn't appear to be doing anything. So it's not actually, you know, you see no lens elements changing here when you, when you move this ring. And that's down to the STM technology. Um, STM stands for stepping motor, and this is designed to help a smoother focus uh, during video shooting. So with Canon's latest cameras like the T4i where you have continuous focus during video shooting, uh, this is going to help to make that more of a continual uh, smooth focus throughout the shot. Uh, what this means though, and this is something that I wasn't really aware of, let me just, uh, let's just pop this on a camera. Got a 1D Mark IV right here. Um, I mean, it, it looks kind of ridiculous on the camera like this. It's just so small. You might as well use this instead of the body cap instead, and that way you know you've always got a lens with you. Um, but what you'll notice is, as I said, when when you're just changing this uh, ring, nothing happens. What you actually have to do is send power to the lens. Let's turn this on. And then now you'll see, now that the lens is powered, turning this ring actually electronically changes the focus and extends the lens. Now, uh, that is at its maximum extension right there, so you can get a bit of a, a feel for what it what it would be. Um, and I don't know if you can hear this, you probably can hear a slight electronic hum in the background when I'm changing this. Um, actually, right here we see it's, the lens has, has gone to sleep again, so now I'm changing it and, and nothing's happening. And that's a little bit annoying, really. Um, it goes to sleep quite quickly, and it does go to sleep faster than the camera does. It says in Canon's uh, lens manual that that's the case. So what you actually have to do is um, depress the shutter button halfway, and there we go. We're back into uh, we're back into our STM focus mode again. So I mean, it feels lovely when you're doing it. It feels like it's no effort at all, and it does seem to move very smoothly. But you can probably pick up a faint hum in the background there. And the idea is that this is a much quieter lens than previous lenses, although to be honest, I still think you're going to pick up some of the, the focus noise from this thing, but uh, I guess that remains to be seen. Um, we'll have to do a bit more testing on that in the future. Um, now, switch to autofocus, and uh, we'll use the, the back button focus, and you can see uh, you can see it doing its thing there. Um, one thing actually I've noticed is that if we zoom, if we zoom out here, not zoom, sorry, it's a, it's a 40 millimeter, I mean focus to uh, the other extremity, turn the camera off, 
and remove the lens. Well, now the lens is stuck in this position, right? So, um, and of course, as, as I showed you before, doing this with the focus ring does nothing. So, um, all of a sudden your small lens is now almost, well, an extra third of the depth. Well, what it doesn't say in the manual is whether it's okay to simply push on this and push it back in. Um, obviously it's possible to do it, but you feel some resistance in there, you're definitely pushing against the motor. And I don't really know why, I can understand why they design it so that the lens goes to sleep and that you have to, you know, sort of reactivate the STM motors with the uh, half press of the shutter button. But what I don't understand is if you physically turn off the camera, um, why they couldn't have figured out a way for it to pull the focus back in and get the lens nice and small again. I mean, after all, this is the, the point of this lens is to have a really small lens. So it seems kind of bizarre that if you, if you end having focus to the other extremity, you have this extra bulge and you have to force it back in. I, I think they, well, I'm surprised that they couldn't come up with a better way to deal with that situation. So, um, there we go. This is uh, Canon's new 40 millimeter f 2.8, and I think uh, you know it's one of those. At this price point, it's relatively cheap, and I think it could become the new 51.8, kind of the the lens that everybody has, everybody either has or has had at some point, because uh, really it, it it's far more pleasing to handle than the 51.8 is. It's much much better built, and um, the initial photos that I've taken with it seem to show that it's very sharp indeed. So um, yeah, I'm quite quite impressed with it so far and I'm looking forward to getting out there and, and really having a play with it. I mean for for a small travel lens, um, a 40 millimeter focal length on a full frame body is quite an interesting idea. Um, Taking a little bit more of the scene than a standard 50. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving it a play. So stay tuned for the blog for the full review. And uh, here you can get an idea of, of just how small this thing is.